Cup's character is that of a grumpy old war veteran. Like me. Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the Toy Hacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is 1986's Generation 1, Cup. Now, Cup hit the toy shelves in 1986 to coincide with his appearance in The Transformers The Movie, where it was shown that he was one of the main protagonists of the film teaming up with Hot Rod for all kinds of adventures throughout the entire runtime of the film. Now, Cup was portrayed as an old war veteran, and even though he had some age on him, he was still pretty good in a fight, as it was seen when he took on Blitzwing to take out Shrapnel, and when he ripped the tail off of a Sharktacon to battle the hordes of Sharktacons in the pits of Quintessa. Now, Cup carried on into the Season 3 and four of the animated series, where it was shown in season four that he became a target master. Now in Marvel Comics, Cup made his first appearance in the Transformers the Movie issue number one adaptation of the movie. And then he came into the original series in Headmasters number one, where he was under the control or under the rule or shoot, under the command of Fortress Maximus. And he tended to argue with Fortress Maximus quite often regarding decisions being made on the battlefield. And in Marvel G1, Cup was the same size as Fortress Maximus. Cup then moved on into the regular series where once again, he liked to argue with those in command, always butting heads with Optimus Prime. Now in the comics, Cup was a pretty good fighter too. He even was able to take out Bludgeon in vehicle mode. So enough of the history of the figure, let's take a look at this awesome Generation 1 toy. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. In vehicle mode, Cup is a Cybertronian pickup truck, hence his name, Cup. And this vehicle actually looks really, really good and just like it did in the movie. Now, the vehicle does have some heft to it, and that's because this entire front end, all this darker collar right there, is die-cast metal. I love that. You definitely don't see that on toys anymore. The wheels right here in the front, those have rubber tires. And the back wheels right here, which are up inside the, well, the leg, those are die cast as well. So this figure has quite a lot of die cast on him. Great stickers on the figure. These are all original stickers. Uh, they, they were in pretty good shape, so I didn't bother toy hacking these up. Now the only sticker I added was this one right here on the front because he had an Autobot logo right there that did not belong. Little Timmy put that decal in the wrong spot, so I gave him a new Autobot logo right there. But really, that's about all there is to say about the vehicle. I like the fact they gave him taillights here, details back in the trunk area. So, pretty cool vehicle. It actually rolls, rolls fairly decent. Now, let's go ahead and get Cup transformed into robot mode. 
fairly simple transformation. You're going to reach up and under the front of the vehicle, get your thumbnail or fingernail right there, and swing the arms out and around, just like so. Get the other one here. Just tuck up in there pretty good. Get that rotated around. And now you're going to swing this section up, which form the legs, and just squeeze these together. And then fold that up. So there you have the body of the robot. And you got the feet right here. You're going to push in on the wheel while sliding the feet out. Let's see if I can get this. So yeah, there you go. Get those slid down and out. And the feet will lock into place. Now we're going to take the rear of the vehicle here and just bring this down, folding the back of the vehicle up. And there we have Cup in robot mode. And robot mode doesn't look too bad. I love the face sculpt. It actually is pretty cartoon accurate. My biggest complaint with the head, it's pretty flat. It's He's got a, a flat back of the head, so you don't want to look at the figure from the back. And the shoulders, the shoulders hang a little low. They, I wish they would go up because it just looks a little weird like that. Now, Cup has pretty good articulation for a G1. The arms can do a complete 360. He's got a wrist rotation. And there is an elbow bend, except the elbow bend, he either can put his hands on his hips like he's scolding hot rod or... You can make it look like he's broke his arm. I wish they would bend forward, but it just doesn't do that. Articulation for the legs, there is none. Let me check those knees. I'm, you know me in those knees. But that's it. He's got the arms, the wrists, and the biceps. Now he does have this really cool blaster that you can put in either hand. So there you have Cup, all armed and ready for battle. Once again, the decals in robot mode, they don't look bad. He's got wrist decals here, a belt, which is a little crooked, but nothing I can't live with. And he's got decals right there on the shins. So there you have Cup in robot mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Generation 1 Cup with Generation 1 Optimus Prime, Generation 1 Hot Rod, Titan's Return Cup, and Studio Series 86 Cup. 1986's Generation 1 Cup is one of my favorites from the 86 line. He's a lot more screen accurate than some of the other Generation 1 toys, plus he has more articulation. Not to mention, he's the character that gave us the universal greeting. Don't act hostile. I'll use the universal greeting. Universal greeting? Watch, I'll have an idiot out of my hand. Ba weep grana weep ninny bong. Ba weep grana weep So there you go, guys. 1986's Generation 1 Cup. So, does the 1986 Generation 1 Cup belong in your collection? Absolutely. If you're a G1 collector, you have to have Cup. Especially if you're a fan of the original 1986 movie. And let's face it, who isn't? You have to have Cup because he partners so well with Hot Rod on your shelf. And like I said in the review, this is not a bad toy. My only real complaint with the figure is that his shoulders are so low. But, you know, it's G1. That's something I can overlook. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I have channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. And big shout out to Raziel Kane Reviews, my newest channel member. Thank you so much. And also, as I said, I'm on my way to 10,000 subscribers by TFCon, so if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button down below and help me reach my goal. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime. Signing out. Hello!